everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the stuff that should have gone in the bin but I've kept for weeks and weeks to go crusty and mouldy in a, a random box in my office so that I can let you all know my thoughts on them basically. Um, this is going to be an empties video and I know I feel like some people it's like, it's like really split with these videos. You either really enjoy watching empties videos or you're really not bothered. And I really enjoy watching them because I feel like a lot of t the time you see people buy stuff but you don't actually hear them talking about it unless they really, really like it. I'm gonna get straight into it and just talk you through stuff that I've used up, whether I'd buy it again, what I thought about it. There have been quite a few shower gels that I've gone through um, recently. Since being pregnant, I have been showering almost twice a day, most days, just because I've just wanted that really soothing feeling of being in the shower and having the hot water running down my back. I've noticed that I've got so much more, like I'll use my towel and I'll wash it after one wash, whereas usually I would use it three or four times and then wash it. Um, but I've gotten a lot more thingy about kind of changing the sheets more often and I never used to leave them until they were gross or anything like that. Um, washing my hands more often. I don't know what it is. I've noticed since being pregnant that's something that I've really kind of picked up on and just like constantly wiping down the kitchen, surf, the kitchen tops and things like that, wanting everything to be really, really clean. I'm not sure whether it's nesting or whether it's just that I've now got this weird clean freak streak in me, but I'm not complaining. So the first one is the original source, sweet apple and vanilla milk. I love these, they're about a pound. If you've been a long time watcher, you'll know that I don't tend to spend a lot of my shower gels because I just think it's a little bit of a waste of money. I'd rather spend it on my perfumes and things like that, uh, body creams. This is a moisturizing shower milk. It's gorgeous, it smells incredible, it's quite sweet, but I really like these and I would, I have repurchased them. I also gave the Nivea Caring Shower Gel Love Sunshine. This is the Nivea Sun original scent ago. This was kind of like thrown everywhere on social media. They had a really good marketing campaign for this. Again, it was about a pound and it literally smells like holiday. It is holiday in a bottle. It's like suntan lotion, but not, it's just, it's so nice. And I went through this quite quickly. I did find that the scent didn't linger around too often. Like these are both the same price point and this one I could smell on me a lot longer like throughout the day than this one but I still really enjoyed using it in the shower and it still made me feel really clean and fresh. I know I just spoke about kind of lower pr price point shower gels, but this is actually a gift. Um, this is the, what brand is this? L'Occitane Cherry Blossom Bath and Shower Gel. And I feel like I was going through this for so long because this one you needed like the tiniest amount. I feel like with the original source ones, I have to like pile it on the little loofah doofah thing that I use in the shower whereas this one you need like a tiny amount. This was actually the scent that I wore on our wedding day, the perfume that matches this and it's always kind of a little bit nostalgic for me. I wouldn't say it's my favourite scent anymore and um, I think I've kind of grown in that department and now I prefer the kind of a little bit more stronger scents, more maybe masculine scents um, like the Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom would be much more up my street at the moment I think but Tommy got me one of these in my stockings at in my stockings no he didn't he put one of these in my stocking at Christmas time and um because bless him he obviously knows that it's the one that we the perfume I wore when we got married and it's always nice to have it and kind of like bring back those memories but it's quite sweet still really lovely though I do still really like it um it's a little bit more pricey but it's really really gorgeous it's more of a luxury one I've got a couple of bottles of micellar water the first one is the Garnier skin acting micellar Clen cleansing water I'm never sure if it's micellar 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 but it's that clear stuff that gets makeup off your face. This is my favourite one, to be honest, to buy from like Boots and Superdrug. Um, I wouldn't go back to Bioderma now because although it is a really good one, it's so much more expensive and this is so good and it gets everything off. I went back to using, in fact, no, I've not actually finished it, the Superdrug Vitamin E one. I'm using that at the moment and I need like twice the amount to get my makeup off than this, even though that was a favourite for a while. Since going, like, you know when you've gone from one and then another, you can tell how much you liked the original one that you always use. And then I also gave the L'Oreal Micellar Water a try. This one said 
says that it's for normal to dry skin and also for sensitive skin. It removes makeup, cleanses and soothes. I couldn't use this on my eyes. This stung so much on my eyes, which to say that this is meant to be for sensitive skin isn't really a good selling point. I wouldn't buy this one again. I felt like I needed so much of it to get any makeup off. Um, it was just a bit of a waste. And it's one of their products that I couldn't wait to finish, you know, just when you're bored of something. So I wouldn't recommend that one, but I definitely would always, always recommend this one. Sticking with the cleanser theme, this is a cream base cleanser this is the emulsion lacte um, um yeah it says it on english in the back i always do this with embryo release the milky makeup removal emulsion and this one i think i got when i was in france like last year didn't use it for ages and then really really liked it this one is amazing for sensitive skin and um, it says it's really good for dry and sensitive skin and it's com comfortable cleansing care this not only makes your skin feel really, really clean, but it also breaks down makeup really well. And I really enjoyed using this. I definitely would buy it again. If you like more of like a milky based cleanser, something perhaps to use after a micellar water and then like as your next step to kind of cleanse and get off the final dregs of makeup, this one was really nice. I don't think it's that expensive. Embryo Elise, I feel like, is such an underrated brand, but they do some of my favorite skincare products. Also, I have the Body Shop Chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter which again is a good one for sensitive skin this is a butter kind of balm based cleanser i really really love this so handy for travel because it's so thin and um, the packaging stands the test of time one that i've always gone back to and would obviously be purchased i've i've gone through so many of these it breaks down makeup i do find I don't really like to use it as my final cleansing step because it does kind of leave a bit of a greasy residue. And you know some days when you get back, you get home and you want to take your makeup off and then not necessarily do the rest of your skincare routine until you come up to bed or just completely forget about it and go to sleep. I can't do it with that one because it does leave a little bit of kind of a residue. I have to go straight in with a toner or another cleanser afterwards but it doesn't put me off, it's still a really good one. And then I also used the Temple Spa In The Beginning Deep Cleansing Melt, which is a brand I'd never used before. My auntie, I think, really, really likes this. I think they're a bit like Avon, where it's a bit of a catalog brand, or you know where they have like, you know where you used to go to like body shop parties and things like that? I think that's what this is. But Caroline Hirons was raving about this and they had an offer on where you got like two for 30 pound or something ridiculous. I did really like it. It reminded me of the Emma Hardy hair cleansing balm, but the packaging is obviously so much better on this. It did have a bit of a scent to it, but not as bad as the Emma Hardy one. That's probably why I really did kind of relate the, relate the two together. Um, really, really nice felt a little bit more expensive than the body shop one so if you've got the budget for it maybe give it a go it looks like we're going through skin code it looks like i'm doing it in order so i've got a toner here this is the alpha h liquid gold with glycolic acid and this is so old that it's in the old packaging it's now white and rose gold this is kind of a an exfoliating toner it's acid based it's incredible if you really like the pixie one is it glow tonic this it will be right up your street it's a little bit more expensive but in my eyes it works a lot better like it does a lot more for me and um, i can really see the difference after using this it doesn't sting or anything like that it's one that you i wouldn't recommend using every single day it's a little bit more expensive that you wouldn't want to i think at the moment they've got a two for lesser price deal on beauty bay for this so i'll link it everything will be linked down below as always but this if you're after a new acid based toner that works that is going to kind of exfoliate your skin my skin feels firmer after using this it just looks better you can also use this on its own so if you don't go in with a moisturizer a moisturizer or a serum afterwards it's like a really intense treatment i haven't done that because i find i don't need to but i it's amazing eye creams eye creams are one of those things where i just get bored of them i don't really see the benefits and i'm sure they're doing something but i don't spend hours like looking at that part of my face and thinking oh they're amazing the only one that i really see the like the initial benefit from is the origins ginseng because i use it in the morning and i can see how much it's brightened under my eyes but um, i thought i'd mention these anyway the embryo lease this is their eye cream it's the soothing eye contour care um, very good for sensitive skin. It didn't sting or anything like that. And I love the packaging of these. This one is the same. This is the Indeed Labs Isolix. And I got this when it was reduced in boots. It was quite pricey and I didn't really see that it made that much of a difference. So I would always go for something at a cheaper price point um, unless you really, really saw the difference. At the moment, I'm using the Estee Lauder Advanced 
night repair that was more pricey but I got it on offer and I've also got a Kiehl's one to try so I'll let you know if my lines vanish or you know I look 10 years younger after using those two but those were kind of bog standard ones and then I also have the Glossier that was a bit of a thigh slap there sorry this is the Glossier Super Bounce this has hyaluronic acid vitamin B5 in it it's a serum really really liked this it felt very although it's a serum it felt very moisturizing it felt like it gave a really good level of hydration I loved the little pipette I loved the packaging of it it was very easy to use not too expensive as serums go um, I think it would be a good one for sensitive skin it felt very kind of non-offensive and obviously you've got your hyaluronic acid in there which is also a bonus always a bonus for skincare and then a couple of moisturizers this one is the I've not taken a breath have I in a while this is the Glossier Priming Moisturiser um, this is a moisturiser that I used during the day in the morning and I used it as kind of like a priming moisturiser as it says so I'd use this before makeup and then skip a priming step probably most days it was really nice gave moisture um, left my skin feeling like tacky enough to then go in with some foundation on top I'm not making sense but I really liked it it wasn't I would repurchase this it's probably one of my favorite Glossier products because it's just easy it was just it was in a tube I knew that it would do the job and I liked it but I would always I've just done my makeup on camera for another video that's already gone up I would always go back to this this I think is better this is the Embryolis um, lay, lay cream concentrate and then I also have the Clinique moisture surge which was a favorite for a while and then when I went back to it this time I do really like it I just feel like it sinks in too easily and sometimes with some moisturizers I want them to kind of linger for a little while because it really convinces me that they're actually doing what I want them to be doing so I don't know I think I've I've gone gone past my love for this one really this is the Origins Ginseng peel off face mask I have gone through this and used it so many times it still feels like there's so much product in there but I know there isn't I really liked this it's such a good face mask it's one of those that you pop on and then it goes so so tight you can't move your face and then you have to peel it off and it does kind of feel like you're peeling off a layer of skin but it's the most satisfying thing ever it can initially when you pop it on burn a little bit or kind of like make your nostrils feel like they're burning off because um, it would like make my eyes water because it was so strong after a while that settles down and it's so worth it my skin afterwards literally did feel like a new layer of skin but after I've used this and I would buy it again it just I'm just so rubbish with face masks I know that they work and I should use them more often but I just never I never do them I always forget about them a couple of hair products this is the L'Oreal Kids Super Pear Tangle Tamer this reminded me of being like six years old eight years old when my mum would use this like non-stop on my hair and I had I have I had I still have three younger sisters and we would just go through this so much this was like three pounds it's easy to buy it's easy to get hold of and it does the same as a lot more expensive hair products now obviously a lot of them I'm using the Daviness oil oil at the moment which is essentially a detangler but it's got a lot of conditioning properties in as well this one is just a detangler but it worked really really well and I just went through it very very quickly I can't brush my hair without using a detangler so I would recommend that if you're after kind of like a no frills bog standard gonna do the job hair detangler then I have a couple of dry shampoos I always have the mini ones these again are so old that they're in old packaging but this is the Ruth Crilly collab dry shampoo I've got the London fragrance here and also the Paris one I, I like the normal one to be honest I'm using a different one at the moment it's like a fruity one I've liked every one I've tried um, they are maybe three pound four pound a bottle my favorite thing is though that you can just use it for volume so it kind of is like a two-in-one product it's really really good at just giving your hair volume um, and I go through it like there's no tomorrow so as always would always recommend these so much better than Batiste so much better okay a few makeup bits and pieces first of all I've got the Too Faced Hangover X replenishing face primer I love this face primer one of my it probably is actually my favorite face primer to ever use it's very 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 nourishing and like hydrating it almost feels like you're popping on a second second moisturizer and um, I do feel like it really helped with 
making my makeup stay on longer it's obviously my base makeup and i would buy this again there's actually a set i'll link it down below on cult beauty that i've had my own for ages where you get that a mini one of these which i've also gone through this is the three-in-one replenishing primer and setting spray and also a beauty blender for like i think it's under 30 pounds um which i think i'm going to buy next this I haven't quite used up, but it's leaking like crazy. I don't know if I've dropped it and broken the spray on it or whatever. There's not a lot left, um, but I need to get rid of it now because it gets to the point where I open it and it just all drops on me. So uh, this is that spray that you've all seen me use so many times. It's got coconut water in here. It's silicone free, alcohol and oil free. You can use it as a primer, a setting spray, and also just as a refreshing spray as well. My favorite makeup setting spray that I've used to date it's all gross and sticky and horrible to this side of me i also have my estee lauder bronze goddess perfume which has been my favorite for a lot of years to wear in the summertime it's so so gorgeous for this time of year and um, this again is in the old packaging because i obviously just don't use things as much as i think i do but i got a new one for my birthday because this is all out so that's in the new packaging but if you are anywhere near an Estee Lauder counter and you want a very kind of summery like perfume that people comment on because it's so good, test it. I promise you you'll buy a bottle. I don't, I just can't understand why anyone wouldn't like that. And if you ever wonder what I smell like, that's it. Um, I also have a bottle of foundation here. This is the NARS Divi uh, what is this? Nars Sheer Glow in the shade Deville and this was my favourite foundation for so long. Now I feel like it's kind of been left, it's, it'll always be a classic but there's so many more that have come out since then. I think the makeup world since Sheer Glow has so, like so developed, come on so far that there's just so many options but it's one I'll always go back to. I just find they're quite yellow um, but I do really like it. I would always recommend this to people as a really good foundation. Not too glowy at all, as the name would suggest. Really, really good coverage. Um, packaging a little bit annoying, but a very, very good foundation. I actually finished a Tarte Shape Tape. I was using this for so long. There's probably like so much in here that's like in the glass bottle. The packaging is just a bit rubbish, isn't it? But it's gone so crusty and dry and horrible now that I just think I've got my wear out of this. Up there with like my top three concealers of all time, probably my favourite concealer if I'm honest, let's not beat around the bush. I go between the shades light and light medium depending on whether I've got a bit of a tan or i um, got no tan. Um, this is the shade light and I can't rave about it enough. Stays in place, doesn't crease, amazing coverage, creamy, brilliant. As good as everyone says. And then I have three mascaras that I've gone through, two I wouldn't buy again, really didn't like, couldn't wait to finish. They're both by L'Oreal. One of them is the Miss Manga Mega Volume. The other one is the Miss Baby Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume. They're just meh. Like I would use them and just be like, these aren't doing anything. You could see a little bit that I had mascara on, but they just didn't do anything for me. And I wouldn't buy them again. There are so many other mascaras on the high street that I would choose over these two, especially from L'Oreal as well. It was just these two that I didn't really like, but one that I would buy over and over and over and over and over and over again, but it's a little bit more pricey. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I really didn't want this to finish. I loved it that much. I was just clinging onto it for dear life, but then it was just completely dried out. And it was just, as I was putting it on, it was like flaking off and I was just like, okay, I need to move on to Pastage New buy one when I've got the Boots points or the Debenhams points um, and just just appreciate my love for it while I used it, while it lasted. It's so good. It Like this makes you look like you've got false lashes on without wearing false lashes. People would ask me what mascara I was wearing when I wore this and that never, ever, ever, ever happens. And you all know, or you should know that I'm really lazy when it comes to mascara. I literally just want to like whack it on and it do the job. And this did all the work for me because the formula is that good that it would make me look like I had these massive, long, voluminous lashes and it was all the mascaras doing. So this one is one that I would recommend everybody to try. I think the waterproof one is amazing as well from what I've heard, I've never tried it, but um, if you like waterproof formulas, I I've heard that it's just as good. And then two brow products, one I love and one that was okay. This is the Maybelline, it's all rubbed off. 
Maybelline Brow something or other is the one where you get the kind of like arched pencil at the top. Is it arched? It might be rounded. And then the die at the other end, which I never use. So you can use that to like fill in, but I don't like my eyebrows to look like super filled in. I just prefer to use like fine brush strokes. This was okay. I found that it was a little bit, the color was a little bit too warm for me. Whereas this one, which is the Soap and Glory Archery, which I've probably gone through so, so many of, is my favorite one. I'd always go back to, would recommend to anybody. Um, and that's it. That's everything that I've got to show you. Everything I've gone through. A little bit more makeup in there than usual, but I always, I always think that you go through kind of bath products and skincare products, obviously more often than makeup, which is a good thing because makeup can be a little bit more expensive. But let me know if you enjoyed this, if it's too chatty, if next time you want me to see like a half one, because I did, I have left it quite a while since my last empties. Um, but I'll start, you know, refilling these with bits and pieces that I'm running out of at the moment and then Hopefully it won't be too long till the next one. But I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.